Bring in Pastor Robert Jeffress from the First Baptist Church in Dallas to discuss vaccine, and vaccine hesitancy among Americans of faith, many of them, and how his very large church has tried to navigate and handle this challenge as well. Uh, Pastor, always great to have you back. Thank you, Shannon. So this church there um, in Texas, some 125 adults and kids who went to the uh, summer camp got infected. Apparently the numbers have grown there in the church as families are involved now too. Uh, and as pastor says, it's the last thing that we wanna be uh, in the news for. We wanna be there for serving people or doing good things. Um, and he's obviously very worried for his congregation. Yes, and we need to be praying for that church. It's not isolated to that church. It's happening in Missouri, Florida, other states as well, at church camps and other gatherings. And you know, Shannon, I believe that uh, we don't need government bureaucrats to be ministers of truth and censor information, but I do think we need pastors to be ministers of truth and tell the truth about these vaccines. And the truth is vaccines are overwhelmingly effective in preventing death and serious illness. And if we really believe in the sanctity of life, like we say we do, mm -hmm. we ought to encourage people to take the vaccine. And so I think it's important for us to speak a clear word on this topic right now in a time of so much confusion. Yeah, the Washington Post talked about this, about how pastors can be very important in, in this message. It says a March poll by the nonprofit Public Religion Research Institute found that white evangelicals ranked highest among those who are religious and refusing to get vaccinated. So are you finding these conversations within your church? Um, what do you think is the hesitancy with people and, and what do you say to them? Look, there are a variety of uh, reasons people have for not taking the vaccines. I respect most of those objections, even if I don't agree with them. What I don't respect are Christians who say, my body, my choice. Uh, that's what the pro-abortionists say. Uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ says, it's not just about me, it's about us. Philippians 2 in the New Testament says, don't merely look out for your own interest, look out for the interest mm -hmm. of others. Have this attitude in you, which was in Christ Jesus. That ought to be the controlling verse for Christians when it comes to the vaccine. Mm -hmm. And how have you all managed this? I mean, I've been there to First Baptist in Dallas. You all have met yes. throughout the pandemic. Uh, you've taken a lot of steps. Uh, and as far as I know, you guys have done pretty well. Well, we have, but we've lost some great members to COVID over the last year and a half. Look, we're fully open. We encourage people to get vaccinated. We're having several thousand uh, children at Vacation Bible School next week, youth camps and so forth. We're taking precautions, testing people for COVID if they're going to go off on a camp, uh, encouraging people to wear a mask if they're not vaccinated. We don't have to live in fear, but we ought to live wisely. When I get on the highway, I say a prayer for my safety, but I also fast in my seatbelt. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good way to live. Yeah, well, I know that you all have um, been a light to a lot of people through this, uh, through online as well, when many of us were uh, going to church in our bathrooms on Sunday, uh, very much <laughs> an encouragement to those of us across the country who weren't able to go in person uh, for some period of time. Pastor, thank you so much. Always great to have you.